Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Axel Kermana. So for today's vlog, we are going to learn how to add and subtract these similar fractions. So before you watch this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and make sure to tap the notification bell button below and click all so that you will be notified on all my next videos. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let us remind ourselves, everyone, of what is the difference of the similar fractions and similar fractions. So that's why that's what we're going to talk about first today. So similar fractions are fractions that have the same denominators. For example, is three fourth plus one fourth. So that um, that is an example of similar fractions. Okay. So the similar fractions is like the completely opposite of similar fractions it is because um the similar fractions have um they do not have the same denominators and for example is one half minus one fourth so that is an example of the similar fractions okay so now that we so now that we know what um what's the difference of similar and dissimilar fractions let us go to our um let's go and move on okay so let's have our first example so i'm just gonna choose a black one okay there okay so let's have our first example one half plus two third okay two third okay so this is our first example so okay so to add or subtract the similar fractions everyone is that we are going to express the fractions as similar fractions so in order to express it into unsimilar fractions we have to we have to find their lcd okay lcd okay so you're probably wondering how are we going to find their lcd okay so first we have to copy our denominators okay which is number two and three and now that we write down our um, denominators we have to write their multiples so two two four six eight and three six nine and twelve Okay, so as you can see, guys, I've only written um, three of their multiples. It is because there is not that much of a space. So, I just had to make it little. So, now that we've written their multiples, we have to find our LCD. So, the meaning of LCD is least common denominator. So, so, so we have to find um, the exact number of their multiples so that we can find our LCD. And the closest that we can get to is number 6. So this is our LCD. Okay, so now that we found our LCD, we have to like um, do like this um, over 6. No, that's too big. Okay. Over 6. And then we're going to copy our addition sign and over 6. Now you're probably wondering everyone what are we going to put on the on the top as our numerator so now we're going to do that okay so first we are going to divide the LCD by their denominator and then we are going to multiply the result to the numerator okay so 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 3 times 1 is 3 so our final answer here is 3 and next we're going to do the same thing on the other side okay so 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4 okay so as you can see everyone um, 
um, we have already expressed the fractions as similar fractions. All you gotta do is that we have to add these similar fractions. Okay, so our first step on adding similar fractions is that we are going to copy their denominator, which is number 6. And then we are going to add our numerator. So, 3 plus 4 is 7. There. So, as you can see, guys, it's an improper fraction. So, since it's an improper fraction, we have to change it into a mixed number. So, in order to do that, we are going to divide. So, we are going to use number 7 here as our divisor. And our number 6 as our dividend. There. Okay. So, now we are going to divide. So, 7 divided by 6 is 1. And then we're going to multiply. 1 times 6 is 6. And like, seriously, right? Evans. Wait. And then, we're going to subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay, so now that we've divided, we are going to use our answer here at the top. Mr. Number 1 as our whole number. And our answer here at the bottom, which is also number 1, as our numerator. And our number 6 here, the dividend, as our denominator. Okay, so now that we've changed our improper fraction here into a mixed, num into a mixed number, this is our final answer. Okay, so let's go to our next example. Example number 2. Okay, so let's have our second example. Let's have um, 3 fifths. Okay, so 3 fifths added by... Wait. Oh, God. Added by 1 seventh. Okay, 1 seventh. Okay, so now we are going to express the fractions as similar fractions. So first, we're going to find our LCD here. Okay, so we copy our denominators, 5 and 7. And then we write their multiples down. So, um, okay, so we're going to write their multiples. Okay, so as you can see, guys, I've already written our uh, multiples of our denominators. So... Now we've already copied um, we've already written down their multiples we have to find our LCD. So our LCD for this example is 3 fifth I mean 3 fifth 35 DIA. And then we're going to do the same thing as last time. Okay so 35 and then we're going to copy our addition sign and 35. there so now we are going to divide our divide our LCD by our denominator okay so 35 divided by 5 um, 35 divided by 5 is 7 and then we're going to multiply the result by the numerator so 7 times 3 is 21 so we're gonna write down 21 and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So 35 divided by 7 is 5. And 5 times 1 is 5. Okay, so 5. So now that we've expressed our um, dissimilar fractions into similar fractions, we are going to copy our denominator, which is number 35. And then... We are going to add our numerators. So 21 plus 5 is um, that, um, 26. Okay, so as you can see guys, um, our answer here is not an improper fraction. So this is our final answer. Yes, we've already answered our second um our second example so let's go to the next okay okay so let's go to subtracting our dissimilar fraction so as as you can see guys um subtracting dissimilar fractions is just easy as adding subtractions 
um, the process are the same except that instead of adding the numerators we're going to subtract them so now let's get to it so let's have our first example 5 and 9 5 9 minus um, 1 6 there so again we are going to um, copy our, we are going to find our LCD and then we copy our denominators 9 and 6 there so now we're going to copy their multiples so 9 18 27 um 36 okay so in hat lang and then 6 so 12 18 and 24 okay there so now we've copied our multiples we are going to find our lcd so i will already see it and it is number 18 number 18 here Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing like the last time. Okay, so again, we're going to do it as over 18. And then we copy our subtraction sign this time. And then we're going to do it over 18. Okay, so now we are going to... Okay, so we're going to divide our LCD by our denominator. So, 18 divided by 9 is 2 and 2 times 5 is 10 there and now we're going to do the same thing on the other side so 18 divided by 6 is 3 and 3 times 1 is 3 so there and now that we've already expressed the fractions as similar fractions we are going to copy our denominator which is number 18 and then we are going to subtract our numerators so 10 minus 3 is 7 so again it's not an improper fraction but this is our answer okay so let's let's get on to our example number four okay so let's have our example number four so we will have one half okay one half minus um one fourth okay and now we are going to find our lcd next we copy our um denominators two and four okay Okay, so 2 and 4, and then we're going to copy their multiples. So 2, 4, 6, 8, there. Then 4, 8, and um, 12, and 16. So, there. So as you can see, guys, you can, you can see two numbers are the same on each multiples of our denominators so since we are looking for the lcd and that and the l means least so uh, so our lcd should be number four because um it is the least so because number eight is bigger than number four right okay so we're going to do it again over four we copy our multiple our subtraction sign and number four Okay. Again, we're going to divide. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 2 times 1 is 2. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So 4, minus, 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, so now that we express the fractions as similar fractions, we are going to copy our denominator which is number 4, and then we are going to subtract our numerators. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So since again, it's an improper fraction, it's not an improper fraction, it's a proper fraction, this is our final answer. Yes! Oh god, my heart looks bad. 
Okay, so that's all for today, guys. And I just wanted to say, um, thank you for watching this, um, video. And, um, so, as you already know that this is your first time seeing my face on my videos. Because, um, from the last, um, from the last videos that I uploaded, I didn't even show my face. Because, um, I was too shy to show it. And so, here I am facing my fears. So, thank you so much for all your support, guys. I mean, I don't even know what to say. And, um, if... If it wasn't for you guys, uh, I wouldn't have been gotten this far. I wouldn't have gotten 700 subscribers. And so, um, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.